In 2022, the best USB audio interfaces for home studios will be the ones with the best sound quality and the most features. USB audio interfaces are becoming more and more popular, and they're perfect for home studios because they are portable and easy to use. Check out our list of the best USB audio interfaces for home studios. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number 1 is Audion ID4 MK Roman 2. In 2021, the Audion ID4 audio interface saw an update with a number of really helpful new features. The iconic Audion microphone preamp is still connected to a combination XLR input on the rear of the two-channel ID4 MK Roman 2, along with an instrument channel on the front. It now supports USB D.0 and is power supply independent. There is a dedicated mute button and pressing down on the large rotational volume knob instantly reduces the output by 15 dB, which is a very useful feature that any audio engineer worth their salt would attest to. The loopback feature on the ID4 MK Roman 2 and its larger sibling, the ID14, is the greatest new trick. This feature makes the ID4 ideal for streamers, podcasters with distant Zoom guests, and other users since it enables you to route two virtual audio inputs from any other software on your computer into Pro Tools or Cubase Lab, which is included with the interface. The Focusrite Scarlett 2 Itwo is probably on the shelf with its bigger siblings if you walk into your neighborhood big box music store looking for music interface. The reason why these audio interfaces are the most popular worldwide is that they are dead simple have straightforward controls. There are no digital panels or force control software to learn, reliable preamps, outstanding build quality, and affordable cost. You can't go wrong with the Tuitwo, which is packaged with the light versions of Ableton Live, Pro Tools First, and other applications if you're seeking to start home recording for the first time. It is a budget-friendly audio interface with a powerful function that is made by a well-known brand in the industry. Consider upgrading to a different Scarlett model and taking a look at the Farfur. 8 to 6, and 18 8 if the amount of inputs is an issue. Or go all out with the 18 at Windy, an 8-channel audio interface that can simultaneously record up to 18 channels on your computer. At number 3 is Native Instruments Complete Audio 1. The Complete Audio 1, uh, or the enlarged version, the Complete Audio 2 may be of interest to you if you don't perform much recording and instead concentrate on production work in Ableton Live or FL Studio, or if you already utilize native instruments programs like Massive or Reactor. It's a basic, inexpensive audio interface that gets the job done. One of the finest starting interfaces is the Complete Audio 1 since it is extremely reliable and constructed like a tank which should appeal to anyone using an older PC and not wanting to spend hours debugging. A collection of NI plugins, including Monarch, Replica, the Adored Solid Bus Comp Compressor, and others, are also included. At number 4 is PreSonus Studio 24C. A reliable audio interface is the PreSonus Studio 24C. It lacks some of the more upscale features of its rivals, but it is more durable thanks to an all-metal frame and rubber feet that keep it from moving around on your desk. PreSonus Universal Control Software also has loopback, offering you extra internal signal routing possibilities if you perform any audio job other than music production, such as streaming or podcasting. It's a fantastic option for those on a tighter budget, especially if you can locate it secondhand. The M2 and M4 offer the same dedication to excellence to a smaller, more approachable USB interface, even though Madu is better renowned for professional-grade interfaces than entry-level equipment. The high-resolution front panel level meters are the main selling point since they allow you to better track you. your input gain while recording and prevent digital clipping. The separate one touch direct monitoring switches for each channel and the individual plus 40 ADV phantom power switches are also excellent features. This entails that you may directly watch your recording with a single button click without having to worry about delay. If you don't want to handle yet another piece of software, the M2 also does not include or require any third-party installs. But via a driver, it does offer loopback, which is a significant bonus. 
It is ideal for complete novices seeking for an interface in the sub $200 price range, because it also includes Manu Performer Lite and Ableton Live 10 Lite. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.